What is up, your name is Gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful game is Luke Mac. You're all playing games as Mario Kart 9. I didn't ever want to like this because about RPGs. If you like the content, like the video, super appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel as well. Let's talk about this. Today's video. <laughs> Today's video, we're going to be speaking about side quests and requests. They are very important. You need to do them. First and foremost, how do we get them? You're naturally going to get them as soon as you progress in the main story quest line of the game. So basically you have your main quests that are you're going to get from this. Village quests. As soon as you upgrade the, the level, you, you go higher on, the, on this gal. Now that is going to allow you to keep getting more side quests and uh, requests. Now, how do we... No, they are there. That is how you will know them. Every time that you see that someone speaks to you, do not get frustrated. It is going to happen quite a lot. And many a time, it, it actually is not going to be that amazing. It's not really going to be anything that good. But in some specific cases, now you can hold the button, back button, select button, depending on PlayStation and Xbox. This is going to happen. And you're going to see that little glove in there with the three little dots that is going to tell you where is that person that needs to speak to you. In this specific case, this is for side content. It really um, is not that important. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, your regular quests are going to be like that as well. Now, how do I find them? Well, you will find them. Um, right now, I believe that I only have higher rank. You can only access higher rank through here. And um, there we go. Do you see that those little things have those three little dots? That means that uh, you're going to get a quest from the side quest. As you can see, in low rank, I do not have any of those. But I do, I, I have completed some of them in here, I believe. Let me check. Seems I haven't. Nevertheless, um, so, here you have them. This is how you will learn. Uh, if you want to have a little bit more information about them, you can press, press RV or R1 in PlayStation. And uh, basically, this will tell you who is the client. It is very important for you to know who is the client and as well sometimes the name of the quest is going to give you somewhat of a clue about what is happening in here for example this specific uh, hunt is going to allow you to unlock a skill for the great sword this one for the hammer this one for the lance so on and so forth usually master uh, atsushi hunts are going to reward you with either weapons base weapons that you can later on upgrade again with his uh, hunts as well as skills now what i would like to what i focus myself on a little bit more is for example right here uh here you you can see that i have already completed this one but um for example here we have no i'm not going to make any of those here we have um, many that I have already completed and this one is Fugen the Elder. Fugen the Elder is actually going to give you quite interesting stuff as well so it is in your best interest to actually complete them as well. But for example Yomogi the Chef. You need to complete as many Yomogi the Chef quests as possible, hunts as possible because they are going to give you dangos. Dangos are very um, important. You will see right here that I have already several different tangos. So uh, let's take a look at some of the... Some of this you will not have them in the base game. But they are very interesting and they actually fulfill your build as well as just giving you extra little bonuses. For example, one of my favorites. Let me see if I can find it. The Blasts Slash. Speeds up weapon sharpening level 2. It has a 70% of activation chance. So that is definitely definitely something that you would like to, to have as well. There's also the... Um, mm, let me see if I can find the element one. 
There's many dangos in here, not gonna lie, but uh, there you go. So for example, if you're fighting against a specific monster that deals a specific type of damage, then you would like to, it is in your best interest, to have either fire resistance or water resistance dango or thunder resistance dang uh, dango, depending on the situation, depending on what kind of monster are you fighting. It is very important for you to read the, the dangos. Basically, how this works is that uh, you can select three dangos. Uh, the base of it all is just going to give you health and stamina but more than that you can also like for example this one extends writing time i do not believe that is actually quite interesting uh increases health recovery from items i actually do often find myself using this one i do believe that is one of the basic ones that you encounter but if you do not have them just uh for example this one as well increase the damage the damage of sticky ammo on and guns gunlands shells and sticky ammo is actually quite damaging so if you're actually using sticky ammo with your range build this is something that you would most likely definitely need so again you get all of those dangos performing quest for this gal but more than that more importantly than that there's also going to be a little different thing which is going to be a request a request it's not something that you can complete directly here on the hunting board. A request, it's something that you will complete separately on parallel while you're doing different hunts. So for example, this is one of the most important one and I did mention this one on my video for the Argosy. But basically this gal, what it does is uh, uh, this is something that you need to complete ASAP. You need to complete this one. And let me see if I remember. If you play, if you press start and you go right, you are going to see the side quests. The side quest, it's going to be the optional sub quests. These are just basically the regular old time sub quests that you complete in each hunt. But the requests, these are very important. The rewards that you get from these things, like for example, this is the one that I am speaking about. Cultural exchange. You need to deliver three with planters and three boat shells. That is going to allow you to have an extra submarine that you can later on have on your Argosy. And again, it is very important. It's a mandatory thing, I would even say, to have your Argosy to its full ma maximum potential so that you can be farming items while you are in a hunt. This one as well is the second one, the economic stimulation. You have to deliver one King Remo, uh, one King Reno, uh, three Rock Roses, and three Bismuth Prisms, and those are basically those little question marks that are different colors on different biomes and maps that you encounter. They are not like the Gathering Iron Banes nor the Bones. They are just the ones that give you camera points, the ones that give you extra points. Those are the ones that you are going to be needing. So. It is uh, very important and in here they are also going to tell you the rewards that are going to give you. For example, this one is a outfit, layered armor. I do believe that uh, that is for a palico, but um, yeah. You also have the sub camps which are so very important. And uh, as well, the you can get dangos from here as well as you can see i have not done this one and i should because then i can get a different very specific dango that i would most definitely need in my hunts so while it is more important to completely ignore everything and focus yourself on reaching uh, the end game as soon as possible it is also very important that you always always do the side quest that are required of you because they give you lots of bonuses that will save your life that it will make you so much, your life so much easier and on top of that let me tell you that if you're watching a youtube build more often than not people is going to tell you oh you're going to need this dango for this build or you're going to be needing this other dango for this other build and you're not going to have it because you have not been doing your secondary quests yes dangos are very important part of veals on Monster Hunter Rise as well. So make sure to complete all of your side quests as well as your requests. 
That being said, if you like the content, like the video, super appreciated. A subscription to the channel is very appreciated as well. Remember that no one told you today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Have a beautiful day, and I'll be seeing you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Goodbye.